Today I want to talk to you a little bit about hypnosis and what it is and what it isn't. It's one of the things that I do with my clients that is a very powerful way to cut through any of the subconscious baggage that might be getting in the way and creating that feeling of stuckness in your life. Let's look at some of the myths together and let's clear them up. So one of the misconceptions about hypnosis is that it is sleep okay so it's there's this misperception that when someone is in a hypnotic trance like state that they're actually asleep and not conscious at all and that is not true uh, the brain is actually in an alpha wave which is a trance like wave when you're awake you're in a beta wave most of the time but you're actually um, moving into an alpha wave quite regularly throughout the day uh, approximately every 90 minutes or so you're going into that state of light hypnosis so hypnosis is actually a very natural state but it's not as deep as sleep okay um, another common misperception is that hypnosis means that you are weak or you are gullible that's not true as well, okay? Usually the people who want to have some hypnotherapy, those are the ones that know there's something deep within their unconscious that's getting in their way. And I always tell people that the reason they're stuck is because there's a misalignment between their conscious mind and their unconscious mind. So that bigger part of them, that 95% of themselves, which is that, unconscious part is actually out of sync with what they actually want and that's when people run into stubborn conditioned behaviors or responses that they consciously look at and say I don't actually want that and yet here I am showing up that way in my life I had a client who um, was wanting to start something in her business and she realized that she was used to being in the background and in order for her to show up in her business the way that she needed to and the way that she wanted to she would need to move out of the shadows in the background and move into the forefront she actually joked that uh, she was always a background singer when there are patterns like this that have been conditioned throughout your life, it's very natural. It's very unconscious. And that's what happens as the years go by. We adopt and we get used to these behaviors and ways of being. But as we looked back at her history, she realized that in her childhood years, her parents and the way she was raised, um, there were certain coping mechanisms that took place in order for her to emotionally survive in the environment that she grew up in. And part of that meant that she was in the background and she was more in a caretaking role behind the scenes. She doesn't need to do that anymore and yet she still finds herself showing up that way. So this is an instance when getting into those deeper layers of the unconscious would benefit her to move forward in a more powerful, more intentional way. So it doesn't mean that you are weak-minded or you are gullible or too highly suggestible. Hypnosis and being open to hypnosis simply means that you understand the power of the unconscious mind in creating new behaviors and new states of mind that will open you up to new results in your life. And all of my clients have wanted some sort of new result, whether it's to stop smoking, uh, to get rid of a specific fear, or to start something that they've always wanted to do. So there are many situations in which hypnosis is valuable and appropriate to be used. Um, another really common misperception of hypnosis is that it's brainwashing and that the person who is in the trance-like state is actually being controlled by the practitioner. And that is a misperception as well because your mind is only going to respond to the suggestions that are in alignment with your internal values and belief systems. So if 
if you were told as you are in a trance-like hypnotic state to lift your arm and hold it in the air, you would probably do that without any uh, conflict and it would be super easy. There's no conflict with your values or your deeper belief system. On the other hand, if you were given a hypnotic suggestion to go break into your neighbor's house, uh, you would not do that because it goes against your values and belief system. So it is not brainwashing. Um, it is not taking control of another person's actions. It is simply getting to those deeper layers of the unconscious and placing in positive suggestions that the client and the practitioner decide on in advance. So as a practitioner, I don't just jump into giving a client suggestions based on what I think is good for them. We actually have an in-depth consultation so that we, we know exactly what our intention is for the hypnotherapy or the greater outcome through any of the therapies that I facilitate. And then lastly, um, hypnosis is not meant for every situation. And it's good to clarify when it's not appropriate to use hypnotherapy. So one of the instances is if someone is in danger of harming themselves or others. In those instances, the individual needs more of a psychiatric intervention or a medical intervention, and hypnotherapy would not be appropriate in such situations. Another case in which it would not be a good choice would be any physical condition that has a specific diagnosis. So if you have a medical issue that you want to get rid of, um, you know, your, your unconscious mind is definitely present and a part of it. However, we never want to tell people that we can heal their physical diagnoses through hypnosis. One thing it can do is ease the pain. One thing it can do is give them more insight into ways that maybe they can find healing, maybe through a practitioner or through a certain uh, treatment. However, the hypnosis is not exclusively meant to heal their physical illness. Another instance in which hypnosis is not necessarily appropriate is when a client or a prospect has a specific psychiatric diagnosis such as multiple personality disorder, bipolar disorder, hysteria, uh, schizophrenia, any of those conditions are not uh, conducive to this type of treatment. So there are psychiatrists and medical doctors that are more equipped to deal with such situations in a safe and legal way. All right, so what does it feel like when you are in a hypnotic trance? Okay, it's very simple because we're always in those states throughout our day. You know, we have a natural rhythm between beta, alpha, and beta waves, and the beta waves are a little bit more fast moving, and that's when we're awake and aware. The alpha waves, we're still aware, but we're in a more relaxed state. And the alpha state is the hypnotic trance-like state. So it's said that every 90 minutes, we enter into that alpha brain wave naturally. So I would say that hypnosis feels natural because it's a state that you embody every single day of your life naturally. And that's the state that we facilitate as you are in a hypnotherapy session. And as you're in that more relaxed state, you're more receptive to the suggestions at the deeper unconscious levels. And the other thing about hypnosis is that you are in control. So as you're going throughout the, um, the process and you're listening to the voice of the practitioner, you're always hearing what they're saying. And so that, that awareness is there. Um, sometimes the conscious mind likes to question and, and observe as you're going through a hypnotic experience, 
but really, um, you know, that part of you is kind of more in the background as we work in those deeper unconscious levels. And that's where we can break through some of the stuckness. So you are in control of everything that you hear. Uh, you're in control of everything that you do in that state. Um, however, I will say that there is a level of following directions, we'll say, that will help you get to those deeper levels and then we can place and reprogram some of the things that uh, need to be shifted a little bit because remember your unconscious mind basically knows what those blueprints are within you to move you closer to the states of well-being and health and empowerment and when you look at what the unconscious mind is capable of, we don't always consciously know everything that's there. Uh, but in those deeper states, you're able to get to those deeper places and allow that wisdom and that um, innate sort of blueprint that you have within you to begin to rise to that level of awareness so that you can bring it into your everyday life and create new results. And these results, like I said, could be anything from uh, overcoming a fear to be able to taking certain actions to quitting bad habits like smoking or, or biting nails. And so there's so much possibility when it comes to creating transformation in your life quickly, easily, and in a way that's actually gonna last through time. So that about wraps up what I wanted to share with you today about hypnosis, what it is not, uh, what situations it is appropriate for, and how it's meant to help people in their day-to-day -day lives. If you have any questions or you're interested in finding out more about how hypnotherapy might help you get to some of your desired outcomes, I encourage you to book a free consultation with me below. There's information there. I always get excited about what are the ways that we can create those outcomes that you want, need, and deserve. All right, thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you next time.